stroll of the Green Valley Lion. Well, that's what I wanted for. Valley Lion. I'm acting president. I have clear legal right to draw that money, and that's what I'm going to do. But that wasn't the real intention of the wire. No, that's where the joke comes in. Dad overplayed his hand again. Oh, Bill, what have you done? I've merely answered that wire in code. Asked for 70000 to be wired to the Green Valley Bank right here in Morristown. Gracious, the bank won't give it to you. They won't. <laughs> well, there's nothing simpler. It's all prepared. The money comes to the bank. I get a message authorizing me to draw it as president of the Green Valley Pro Tem. But it's stealing. No, it isn't. I'll take the money, retire the mortgage, and then I'll politely issue a note at one month thanking them for the accommodation. We can pay it out of October earnings. Oh, well, yes. It looks all right that way. I thought you were just going to take the money and let it go at that. Oh, I wouldn't do anything quite so boneheaded as that. When did you answer that wire? Yesterday. Say, we ought to have something soon. I phoned the commercial office to send it right over. Oh, I guess that's it now. Let me have that phone. Hello? Yes. Reed speaking. What's that? A wire? Is it from New York? Uh, Oh, San Francisco. Well, all right, just a minute. What is it? I don't know. Take it down anyway. All right. All right, go ahead. Get this, Carrie. Understand Fortuna Mining Property on market. Sending Representative Morristown today's train. Signed, Steinecker and Brown. All right, thanks. Gosh, what do you know about that? Oh, Bill, if they want that mine, you may not have to accept the CKNW money. Maybe, but I'd like to grab that 70000 off the old man just to teach him a lesson. Hmm. Well, that's two chances. Things are looking up, Carrie. But on this money proposition, you could never close the deal in time to meet that mortgage payment. We've only ten days. Well, nine to be exact. Yeah, time's getting short. Oh, I guess that must be the New York message. Hello. Telegram? All right, shoot. What? San Francisco again. All right, let's go. Take it, Carrie. All right, Bill. Re Fortuna Mines, please reserve action till you see our representative arriving Morristown today. Signed, Vorman Robinson. Okay, thanks. For the love of Mike, looks like we started something. Two firms after the Fortuna. Say, that darned old junk pile may be worth something after all. Say, I've got a notion. Well, I'm listening. Suppose I try one of these firms with a message something like this. Uh, Re Fortuna Mine, am now in touch with other interests. Expect a closed deal. We'll consider cash deposit of 70000 to hold property. How's that for an idea? Oh, well, it's not bad, but but I wouldn't do it. Uh, but, well, why not? Bill, you don't know a thing about that mine. It may be very valuable. If you tie up to anybody, it's going to make it bad for dealing. But what can I do? It's no good me going poking around the Fortuna mine trying to guess how much it's worth. I wouldn't know an ore shoot from a load of hay. But you must get some advice. I tell you, hmm? get a rig and drive out to Matt Stevens' place. And who's Matt Stevens? He's the mining engineer that developed the Fortuna. Oh. He's a square shooter. He'll tell you all about it. Say, that's a good idea. Is he on the phone? Sure. It's only four miles out. I'll phone you if that other message comes right, in. Right. That's just what I'll do. Gosh, there's three chances to raise that 70000 already. First thing you know, we're going to be oversubscribed. Oh. <laughs> all right. If anybody calls, say I'll be back around four o'clock. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'll give it to me, Mr. Reed, directly. Yeah. You're welcome. Oh, oh, come in. Good afternoon. May I come in? I'm looking for my son. Oh, I think you've made a mistake. This is the superintendent's office. Oh, that's all right. My son is the superintendent, or something like that. Oh, why? Why, you don't mean that you... That you are Mrs. Reed. Well, yes, my Of course, my dear. Oh, do excuse me. I'm so sorry, oh, Mrs. That's Reed. All right. uh, won't you have a seat? Thank you. And you must be Kathleen Graham. That's right, I... I'm awfully glad to meet you, Mrs. Reed. Your, your son has spoken about you. Really? Well, I've heard a good deal about you, too. My son devotes a good deal of space in his letters to telling me about you. Oh. So, uh, well, naturally, I was a little curious. <laughs> well, I'm sorry your son is out this afternoon. He'll be back about 4.30. I, I'm sure he'll be surprised. Oh, he's quite used to my eccentricities. I landed in San Francisco yesterday from Yokohama. Thought I'd drop in and surprise him. How is he? Oh, he's quite well, Mrs. Reed. Rather worried about business. You know how hard it is on the Green Valley just now. My dear, I don't know a thing about it. Never could understand the railroad business. What's the trouble? Well, I don't want to bore you with railroad gossip, but it's just the usual thing. Heavy payments to meet and very little time left. Bill's worried to death. Hmm. 
How's that husband of mine behaving? Mr. Reed Sr.? Of course. Well, it is. Well, it's rather difficult to see you. Oh, don't mind me, my dear. I know my husband. He's set on gobbling up this poor little railroad. And, of course, my son is very stubborn, too. <gasps> and also funny. Oh, yes, aren't they? It seems such a strange thing that, well, that you're... But Mr. Reed Sr. and your own son should be fighting against each other. I suppose it does. My husband is a very determined man. Opposition makes him do funny things at times. But underneath all that, he's a very generous, kind-hearted human being. Oh, I'm sure he is. And I wouldn't for the world oh, have you think Oh, that's all that... right, my dear. Don't let's talk about it. You and I must be good friends. Oh, I certainly oh, hope so. Of course. My son tells me you've been a great help to him. Really, I haven't done very much. You see, I used to work in the office before I went to college, so, so I kind of know the ropes. Would you tell me something? Why, certainly, if I can. There's something worrying you, young woman. Something serious. What is it? Oh, it's nothing. That is nothing personal. Something to do with the business? Well, yes. You see, this mortgage payment is very serious. And we have to make, make it out of our earnings. Bill's been rather desperate, and oh, I suppose I shouldn't go to but... Oh, do you mean that he might do something foolish? Well, yes, in a way. Oh, dear, I know so little about money matters. I suppose it's a very large sum of money. Seventy thousand. Seventy thousand dollars. I suppose that is rather a lot of money. It means everything to the Green Valley Railroad just now. But I really shouldn't well, talk. Well, if it makes you feel any better, my dear, it's perfectly safe with me. After all, I am Bill's mother. Yes, and, and it's so funny, Mrs. Reed. The man who holds this mortgage, the man the money is to be paid to, is, is Bill's father. Good gracious. My husband. Don't you see how queer oh, it all how is? perfectly absurd. Seventy thousand dollars is only a flea-bite to him. And you mean to say he's making it awkward for Bill over a mere seventy thousand? I'm afraid it's very serious, Mrs. Reed, and there's nothing anybody can do. I wish I could talk to my husband for a minute. I'd like to give him a piece of my mind. Not that it would do the slightest good. No, and Bill would resent any interference. He's doing a splendid job here, and somehow I, I believe he'll get that money. Oh, excuse me a minute. Certainly. Hello? Hello? What? Yes. Yes? Oh, oh, splendid. You're coming right back. Here, wait a minute. I've got some big news for you, too. Hello? Hello? Oh, bother. No. Why, it's Bill. He's got some splendid news. He's coming right back. Another participant in this queer family tangle. It isn't hard to guess what side Bill's mother will be on. Watch out for episode 23 in the Green Valley Line. Mm -hmm.